Dr. Penn once more again. Thank you for staying tuned. We are excited today. We want to talk about August being the National Wellness Month. When I talk about wellness care, I don't mean just exercising and eating right. There are seven principles of wellness. The first three are your mind, body, and soul. If you don't take care of your mind, you can't begin to lay plans that you want for your future. You can't get your body in the best shape that it wants to be. You can't make up your mind to eat good food, and you can't make up your mind just to be in a good, solid, happy place. The other one is purpose. Once our mind, body, and soul is right, we want to begin working on our purpose, our purpose to our family, our purpose to our community, our purpose to ourselves and what it is that we were designed to do because every person is designed to do something even if there's another career or another hobby that somebody else is doing. There aren't enough photographers or chiropractors or realtors and there are so many people on the planet that our purpose and how we see it and how we view it will touch the people that are supposed to be touched by what we do and in our tribe. Five is our family. Once we have wellness within ourselves and we have figured out our purpose, we begin to focus on our family a little bit more. Sometimes our relationships may have been strained because we were in pain. When people are in pain, they're anxious. They seemingly become selfish because they want to be self-preserved. But once the pain leaves the body and the mind is right and the spirit is right, you're working in your purpose, you want to be able to restore those relationships with the people in your family, the people in your tribe, the people who supported you. And sometimes it just happens in life and life happens in cycles. And so the other ones, the other two are community and environment. What are we doing for our communities? How do we make our communities well? How do we have an impact with our communities? And we begin focusing on that. We begin focusing on the environment, cleaning the environment up, making sure that where we live is refreshing to the people who come and visit that area. I live in Colorado Springs, so we want to make sure that our mountains are kept clean as we're hiking and that all the debris and things that sometimes people leave behind are good. We want Maybe we want a garden. Maybe you want to try something different as far as what you're doing with your food and how you're nurturing your body, and that could be something that is very environmental. So I just wanted to talk about the – there are seven principles of wellness. It is a book that I wrote. It's an ebook. If you're interested in please let me know. We could put the link down in below once you have – left the information that we may contact you through an email. And so, hey, happy August, happy Wellness Month, and start thinking about moving uh, your body, start thinking about good thoughts, start thinking about good food and good relationships and being in the right environment and really reaching the point of wellness. I hope this is very helpful to you. If this was, please like and share with somebody. Please subscribe to our channel. And below is the link um, for you to get the information about what the seven principles of wellness are. I hope that you guys will stay great and we'll see you soon. Thank you.